my fellow brothers and sisters predestined for light here. I want to give you a little shot of the Silver Rock Ranch. That's what it's called out here is Silver Rock Ranch in the high desert outback. So I figured I'd give you some shots and see what it looks like out here. I am off grid and I produce all my own power via wind turbine. I have solar, but I have not put that up. I use very little power. I am what you would be considered or what would be considered a minimalist. Um, I use the very least as possible every single day, year after year. I have lots of things. I just don't use them. I have an on-demand hot water heater. You know, as much hot water as I can, as I can possibly uh, want. And I still use a five gallon bucket and heat up my water and use five gallons because I don't like to waste water. So again, that's how I live out here. Everything I do is to uh, try to be very humble in how I live. And I believe that pleases the father for me. That's my journey. It might not be yours. If you have things, you can well, just hover over him, period. Okay. Um, my journey to the father, my path to the father, it, it it's the same in the same way, right? In the hados, in the same on that same narrow path, but your path may be a little different. As long as our path leads through and we enter through that straight gate, we're on the same path, right? So bless you, brothers and sisters. Um, it's cold out here this morning. We're hovering around negative temperatures, the cabin fire. I didn't get up. I was a little chilly and, uh, you know, I was in the 30s, almost almost frozen in here this morning. Our little kitties were, they have somewhere to huddle up there. There's our other little, that's Sherbert and Lazarus. All right. So anyways, I wanted to you know, let you guys see what I'm doing out here. I've had some interested folks. Look at that. No neighbors. That's another cabin that I'll be building over there on the other 20 park partial because I am on 40, but not a not a neighbor in sight. All right, that's a view um, from the back porch. There's a large mountain range right back there you can't see because it's covered with the fog we well, can kind of see a little bit of the top of it there there's actually it's called table rock so all right want to give you a shot of that a little bouncy my apologies oops am i still going yeah i'm still going my apologies um little technical difficulties here but um anyways i wanted you folks to again kind of get a little shot at um little shot of the cabin for you what we're doing out here all right thanks for tuning in I want to share uh, what I've got with you if you're interested in all in living off grid please get a hold of me I'd like to share my ups and downs so that you don't have to have any downs I'd like to see you only be lifted so if I can help you and any way or shape or form, please do not hesitate to contact me. I have five years of experience. I'm a military honorably discharged veteran out of the United States Army with lots of Arctic training in Alaska, extreme cold weather training, mountaineer training. I have a lots of different kinds of training, but I'm getting prepared for the return of the Father for the second coming. Hallelujah. That's what my preps are right now. I'm building my ark. I've got one of those too. I got an ark under the ground, been at it for years. He's spoken to my brain and I've listened. So, all right, guys, gals, brothers, sisters, you know, I like that on this channel, I don't have to worry about offending people that I could say guys and gals. <laughs> That's nice. All right. All glory to our redeemer who's going to come back and who paid that bride price for us. He's going to come back and pick up his purchase possession. Does he have your ticket? Two, three, four, five, six, five, six, seven, eight. What's your number? He's going to come back with that, all those numbers, and he's going to call you out. It's beautiful. Come, please, Maranatha, my 
redeemer, my light and my way. All right, predestined for light.